Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to show you how to refurbish a garden bench. So this garden bench that I'm fixing up today, it's made from concrete on the sides and it has these teak timber lats across the seat and across the back. So this teak is about 30 years old, so it really needs to be changed. So first thing I did was I took off the coat screws that were fixed in by just loosening the bolts at the back or the nuts at the back and the washers and removing all the timbers. Then I gave the concrete a good scrub with this wire brush, taking away all the loose paint and all the dirt and debris that was that was on it. And that's all I needed to do. I just needed to put the timber, put the concrete down on two timber lats, um, to stop any paint drips sticking to the floor, and give it a good fresh coat of paint. That was all I needed to do with the concrete. Then I needed to route the edges of my timber lats to give it a nice curved edge, which would be more comfortable for sitting on. And I did this using my router. So as you can see here. It's a quick and easy job with the router. A small little curved chamfer along the edges and then give it a good sanding, first with some 120 grit sandpaper and secondly with some finer sandpaper. I used 280 grit this time and give it a good, a good sanding all around. Get rid of any splinters and leave a nice smooth finish. After that then, as usual, to pull all the, the sawdust out from the timber, I used white spirits. Uh, make sure to wear some gloves when you're putting on white spirits just to protect the skin in your hands. And just give it a nice nice wipe with the cloth and that'll, that'll clean off the, the timber nicely. After I had the white spirits done, I started to brush on some teak oil. So it's basically linseed oil with some different kind of preservatives and chemicals in it, which will really preserve this timber. The teak oil you can put on as much as you want in different coats. It says to put it on liberally, so you paint on loads of it. As you can see here, it brushes on really, really easily, spreads kind of easily, much more easier than paint. And you just brush it on, and after you have it brushed on, you just wipe it away with a cloth and let it to dry, and you can put on as many coats as you like. I put on three coats, um, and if I think the timber is getting tired looking, I'll probably put on more. So after that, then I set up a little jig like this, which was 200 millimeters from the block to the hole here, and the hole was in the dead center of the timbers. This just made it quicker for marking and drilling. I had to drill the timbers with an 8 mil drill bit because the coat screws I was using were 8 mil diameter. So that's all there was to it. Slide in the lats, turn it around, make sure it's not bursted out at the back, and that made it really, really easy to, to drill the holes because marking out can be kind of time consuming. So there you have a 35 mil, the dead center, the lats are 70 mil wide. That was a quick and easy process. After I did that, I gave it another coat of the teak oil just to make sure and get the, the teak oil down into the holes. And then it was ready to be assembled. So as you can see, the concrete sides were looking really well. Get the timbers on and with the coat screws, just start fixing them in at the sides. Putting on the washers and putting on the, the nuts on the back. Quick and easy, tighten all of those then with the, with the it's a 13 mil nut, so it's a 13 mil spanner I use to tighten those. Turn them on, stick them on at the back and stick them on underneath. Give them a good tighten and they'll pull the coat screws down into the timber and the top of the coat screws are curved. So there's no jagged edges for anyone to sit on and they can't be open from the top. So you just have to worry about tightening from the bottom. And there you have it, a really refreshed looking garden bench. And thank you for watching.